Hey, old man. What brings you around here? You owe for so many things, Felix. So many deeds left unclaimed. Listen, old man. You're crazy. I don't think you know- Do you know how hard your mother cried when you ran away? You know how she's changed? I can't say I do. Because I'm not who you- So much pain you cause, Felix. Now it's time to pay up. Huh. Listen, old man. I'll show you. You've got the wrong guy. Oh, I got the right guy. Please, just let me show you. I just gotta think. I just gotta concentrate. Oh, please, old man. Just let me show you. I'm not who you think I'm... It would not surprise me if you asked me why I stay. The world has changed so much since I first came to the monastery. Um, what people expect of us is very different in many places, especially those who don't know us very well. Uh, many people think that our time has passed. There's no place for us in the world anymore. After all, what are we contributing? May I be of assistance to you? No, no, just looking around. There is no looking. Madame Anastasia is a very busy woman. No passers-by. Just be a minute. If you wish to stay, you must get a reading. Fine. How much? No charge. Madame Anastasia knows you have quite a story to tell. Please, just step through the curtain.
sit, Mr. Pestis. So what have you come to know? I don't see how it's any of your business. I understand you have many barriers that are yet to be broken. Am I right, Mr. Pestis? You run in circles looking for the exit, but you can't escape the demons inside. A troubled man with a troubled past, with no one to blame but yourself. Hey, what's this all about? Aren't you supposed to do some voodoo? Tell me my future? I merely tell you what you want to hear. But for you, it's different. I sense a strong, dark energy deep within you. You're really something. I come in here expecting the meaning of life and you give me this? Are you a witch? Do you know any spells? Supernatural, serpents, spiders, spooks, spells, instant love, ability to fly, mind reading, telepathy, endless knowledge, and shape shifting. I want that. I cannot just simply give you this power. You came here for a psychic reading, and that's all. You will. Or else. Or else what? This spell will give you great power. It will give you the ability to take shape of anything that you physically see. It is not a skill of the mind, it is a skill of the eyes and the senses. I must warn you, this will eventually be the cause of your death. Yeah, yeah. On with it. Sepultrum. Herculosis. Insisto! That it? Thanks for the help, lady. Um, do I know you? Never mind.
some people may think so, but the, the world is full of God and they don't know it. We wouldn't be here at all if it, if it weren't that God wants us here. Not just us in this community, but all of us. And there's, there's another level of, of life and goodness and love that's all around them. And we're glad that we can help them to find that. say things like flowers as long as you can mm. because we just don't have that many of them. I told my brother Brian one time, <clears throat> I said when a crocus appears in the yard in the spring, we put a little fence around it and genuflect every time we go by. <laughs> because you plant bulb and you don't know if they're going to last through the winter or not. And if one or two do, hooray. It's been hard to get used to, having grown up on the East Coast. Yeah. But we have mountains. 